Hey, how's she going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Boys, I'm glad you dropped in today. We have a little project we're going to start today. Uh, it's called, it's uh, Yard Yahtzee. You ever hear tell of the dice game Yahtzee? Well, I saw this thing the other day where uh, my uh, granddaughter, Rachel, was uh, on a little bit of vacation with her mom and dad. And uh, they were in the yard and they were playing Yard Yahtzee, or Lawn Yahtzee. So I thought, hey, that sounds like a good fun uh, summer activity. So I'm going to try and make myself five dice out of wood. I'm going to use some uh, four by four and then just put them in a bucket and you shake them up and you throw them out in the lawn and you add up your scores. You know how you play the acting. Anyway, that's what we're going to try and do. So I have to make five wooden dice or dies. Let's go try it. So uh, one thing that I really like about this little project, other than it looks like it's going to be good fun playing, is you get to use some more scraps. <laughs> So I had some old uh, cut off pieces of 4x4 pressure treated posts, so I thought that would be a good size maybe for the dice. But anyway, I'm going to make try to make five dice out of this piece of 4x4. So to get the right uh, dimension, I set up my miter saw with a stop lock at three and a half inches. So now what I need to do is put some round over edges on these cut pieces of the wooden blocks to match these side pieces. So I have a, a I think it's a half inch round over on here, 3 8 round over I think it is. Now what I'd like to do is lay out the patterns on these die, uh, or collectively dice. <laughs> so I'm going to start with this one, and I know that on one face it has just the one dot <laughs> for a one, uh, but I don't know what the pattern is, you know. So I was doing some research and what I found was opposite faces of a die add up to seven. So opposite the one will be the six. Uh, opposite the 2 will be the 5, opposite the 3 will be the 4. Now what I did was I went to work and I cut uh, just a 45 out of a piece of plywood and then I clamped my uh, right angled square, framing square on it, or not a framing square, just a mini square. So now I can set this on here, make sure that's all tight, draw my line across there, and then the other side. I don't think that's going to be too bad. So this is going to be the number one side right here. All right. So that means the opposite of that is number six. If uh, I find the center again, So many lines on this now it's hard to see the center. If that's the center, then if I draw a line through here, this will be the center line of it. So then if I take half of that, would it be in the center? Hmm. I don't think a regular die would have it in the center. I think it, like if it was the center, they'd be too close. So I think what we have to do is maybe two-thirds of the way out. What's this 20 look like? I'm just eyeballing now because I don't really know, right? So I'm just trying different uh, dimensions. No, 20 is too close. So I'm going to make it 25. So that's an inch, I may as well say. When I put my speed square on here, the width of this arm on the speed square is just about 25. So if I set that up so I can just see the line and then score a line across here, I'm going to do the same this way, set it up so I can just barely see the line. All right, so now I'll put I'll throw all that trouble to lay them out and then punch the holes in cook them. It doesn't make sense, does it? OK, 
Okay, one and six. So now we're going to go to this side. So I need a line from corner to corner. And then from corner to corner. And then I think if I draw my line across here again, and then if I just go a little bit past the width of the square, of the arm on the square, to keep everything symmetrical. Okay, so now we mark it here and here. All right, and then we mark it here and here and here. So that's going to be five. So now this one. So, two and five. So now we need three. It turns out that every face on the die needs to get uh, the same layout lines, it seems. Or at least that's what I'm finding. So three, and then on this side, four. Alright, so all I have to do now is uh, cut out those numbers with a big bit and uh, do that four more times. Okay, here at the drill press now I've got a bit set up here that's uh, about a 5 8 inch uh, drill bit because uh, I'd like to have a nice cupped out hole here. So I've got this set up and I set my stop on the drill so that it only goes that far. Uh, so hopefully we'll seed each one just a little bit below the surface so that I can paint them. This will start with the one. Then the six. So I'm trying to uh, clean up these uh, little indentations that I drilled because uh, they're pretty ragged. So I put my little Dremel tool in the vise with an emery uh, bull nose on the end of it here. So I'm just going to try and, you know, work it that way to clean them out. See how I make out here.
didn't work out too bad. I think that's going to work good for cleaning out the holes, but uh, I noticed when I was uh, drilling them. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> Nine. <Nah. laughs> oh well. <laughs> I have to make another one, I guess. So what I'm up to now is I'm going to paint them. So uh, I want to start just by painting the dots. So I have some black paint and I'm using trim clad and it's a black enamel. My brush here is uh, pretty stiff. Don't know how good it's going to work. But anyway, all we can do is try, right? I want to put an ample amount of paint in here, but I don't want to really, uh, you know, drown it in paint. Because uh, more than one coat is probably going to be the answer. I made another dice there, another die. The other one, uh, remember the one I made with on the six side had nine markings in it? <laughs> I already painted the five, so the only one left is the six. So I'm going to continue to paint these, and uh, when we finish them all, uh, then we'll put a second coat on them. So I'll come back. It's probably going to take a couple of days to do this because this trim clad paint, it's oil base, it takes a long time to dry. And I want to make sure that there's a good enamel coat on these indentations. So here's my uh, dice with the dots painted. I got three coats of black on these dots so they're looking not too bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand them, run them through the sander just to clean that up so only the black will be in the dots. See how we make out. Okay, so I have most of the paint <laughs> sanded off. It's not turning out just quite the way I thought it was going to, but anyway, here we are. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is paint the base coat on it. I'm using trim clad gloss white again for this. With this little tiny brush, it's going to take forever to paint these. I'm probably going to have to put uh, multiple coats of white on and then come back and do the black again. However, if all it takes is time, I've got lots of that. Anyways, we're going to see how this goes. Yeah, this is going to take many, many coats to get this done up. So it'll probably be another three or four or five days before I get back to this one. This is a nice little project day. Eh? I think it's going to work out alright. It's going to be good fun. Good for laugh, if nothing else. But it's taken a long time to do it, so just FYI, if you're planning on uh, making some lawn yachty dice, <laughs> set aside a week or two. <laughs> so there they are with the first coat of white on three of the sides. So uh, we'll see what happens. It's going to take a lot of coats, and it takes about at least a day for the paint to dry. So this is going to be a multi-week project. Still painting, uh, it's coming. I've got two coats on most of it, but uh, it's going to take a lot of coats to cover the wood. But we'll get, uh, I don't know, three or four coats of white on it. There's three coats of black in the dot, so if I get three coats of white on it, and if it needs more, I'll put more on, and then uh, touch up the black in the dots here and there, because I'm going outside the lines a little bit. So we've got the uh, white just about finished. I think that's all I'm going to do for the white. But now I have to go touch up my black dots again because uh, it was a little sloppy around the dots. So that's what we're doing here. I've got a smaller brush and of course the black trim clad paint. And this is a tedious job I have to say. As we uh, go about just painting to the edges of the black. Try to be as neat as I can so that I don't have to touch it up with the white again when I'm finished. The snake eye. So we just continue like that and uh, 
see what transpires. So there's my uh, dice all made up. I uh, got the, uh, the dots painted pretty good and the, the white turns out not too bad. It's, I'm going to leave them like that. I made six of them so I'll have a spare. And then uh, Nanny found this basket. So this is what we're going to use to roll them around. So uh, I think it's going to work all right. Let's go see. So uh, this is the way it's going to work. We're going to put the die in the basket. Roll it out. And I've got uh, two sixes. Three sixes. Four sixes. Not bad. All right, Lon Yatsi, what do you think? Do you think it'll catch on? I don't know. Now that the COVID restrictions are lessening, uh, we have a lot more opportunity now to have the kids and the grandkids and whatnot come out to the camp to have a little campfire and some playtime. And uh, we have already, we have uh, like uh, Newfie Golf and we've got washer toss uh, so and horseshoes. So now we've got Lon Yatsi. <laughs> this is a full feature resort. <laughs> Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for dropping by and so I'm glad you're here. And I hope you leave me a comment from our regular viewers. Thanks a million. Don't forget, thumbs up me everyone. Leave me some comments. Let me know about this video. See, did you like it or didn't you? Anyways, I hope you did. And I hope you have a great summer. Stay safe, everyone. We'll talk to you.